Hello, everyone. Jason Hagholm here, and today I am joined by the reigning, defending, unified MMA heavyweight champion who, on Friday, September the 23rd, he will defend that championship against Jamel Jones at Unified 46. Uh, Christian, how are you doing? I'm doing well, man. Thanks for talking to me again. Yeah, pleasure to chat with you again, Christian. Well, the last time we talked, Christian, you had an unexpected rematch. And let's just look at that fight where it was your sure. shortest shortest one to date. Uh, talk about how that performance went because you looked great, got it done in under 40 seconds, and I think you even uh, ended up maybe breaking the toe or arm of Grayson Wells? His arm, yeah. Um, you know, the... God, God love him. Grayson, Grayson's as tough as they come around uh, around here. He took the fight on seven days notice. It wasn't the fight that I had been looking forward to, but I mean, a fight's a fight, and I got, I got to step in there and uh, and get another win. But uh, yeah, I, uh, I I kind of figured that I'd be able to overpower him pretty yeah. pretty easily as soon as I got my hands on him. So <laughs> yeah, and I mean, your fights go quickly christian does it mean anything to you that you beat your time you here with a 37 second finish last time out uh honestly i i had gone into that fight with an entirely different game plan um you know i i, I kind of intended to showcase a little bit more of what i was able to do striking and sit back and and um uh, you know, kind of technically take him apart, and then he touched me a couple of times, and that went right out the window. So <laughs> I, uh, I, I actually wasn't wasn't looking for an early finish on the uh, on that fight originally. Well, they they usually do come with you just because of the power you bring. And and just last thing on the fight, I know it was thirty seven seconds, but did you learn anything about yourself, Christian? Uh, I, I guess other than the fact that I've got the capability to break a man's arm by by <laughs> punching them, uh, uh, you know. That was it was pretty par for the course. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Well, let's talk about this upcoming fight here where you defend your heavyweight title here against Jamel Jones. Uh, when they offered you this fight, I mean, that had to be a nice relief for you. I mean, another step up, a step up in competition here in Jamel, who's, you know, won a title in CFFC, fought in the PFL. And it's an opportunity for you to really test your skills. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. The uh, the jump competition is is something that I've been trying to pull off here. You know, the last couple of fights we've been looking for stronger opponents. Um, you know, with Rashad Tour pulling out, and uh, we had uh, originally we were talking to I think it was Alexander Nicholson um, mm -hmm. for for this one, but that didn't work out either. So I, I I've been trying to fight. Uh, fight some tough guys and and you know jamal's as tough as they come and he's a gamer I'm, I'm not too concerned about him you know backing out or not being here so i you know i was looking looking forward to it as soon as he accepted the fight for sure well when you look at as you mentioned you're supposed to fight rashad couture and then there's alex nicholson with jamel i feel like jamel is like the best option for you in terms of the the difficulty that he brings to to really showcase your skills is that something you're kind of looking at too christian um, you know, I, I basically said that I would, I would fight anybody with, uh, with a good pedigree, right? Like I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to get that, that jump. Um, it wasn't like I, I singled out Jamal or that we, we, we picked him out of a, a hat kind of thing. You know, he, he fit the mold, he's willing to fight and, and that's kind of what it is. I, I think stylistically it's, uh, uh, it'll be a fun matchup. You know, we, we both hit hard. We both meet in the middle, you know, there's not a, not a lot of whole difference. We're both finishers. We both people put people away. So it uh, it should be exciting for uh, from the audience point of view for sure. Yeah, what have you seen in Jamel's game going into this fight? I mean, he's only had one fight this year that went 25 seconds. He was on the wrong end of it, losing in the PFL, and you know he fought a, a, a guy kind of like your frame, a big bulking heavyweight. Yeah, and I mean you can't like he got. He got caught there. I think it was that front kick knee combination. And I mean, that's, you know, you get as much power as uh, as these guys have behind him. And sometimes that's as quick as it happens. Um, but no, he's a, he's a, one, he's a very strong wrestler. Um, you know, he's, he's got a, got quite the pedigree. Uh, I, I can't remember which, uh, which state he wrestled from. I don't have it in front of me, but uh, now solid wrestler. He hits hard, southpaw. He looks for that, you know, that powerful left. Um, but his his takedowns and his ground control is uh, is definitely threatening. 
And I mean, this is a, a guy in Jamel who's had some experience, you know, being a heavyweight champion and fighting on the bigger stage where the moment of fighting in a main event here as he comes across the border won't really phase him. Is that something that, you know, I guess excites you as well, knowing that, as you said before, you know, he's not going to pull out and maybe this moment won't be too big for him or anything like that. No, no. And I mean, most, uh, you know, we, we're all professional fighters. This is, this is all par <laughs> for the course. I don't think too many people get rattled by, by headlining or, or whatever, um, especially at this level. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not expecting him to, uh, uh, do anything but bring his best and, and that's what i'm uh, gonna do as well you talked about knowing jamel has a, a wrestling background we haven't really get to see you christian you showcase that wrestling game uh do you plan on using that or or going in there or is it just once again one of those things where you just flow how the fight goes you know, it, it, yeah it's how the fight goes uh i've always been pretty confident in my wrestling uh, you know I've, I've got a background as as well not as illustrious as uh uh, Jamal's but I mean I'm I'm confident in my wrestling for sure where'd you wrestle Christian uh I, I wrestled here in Edmonton I wrestled uh for six seven years high school and then uh with the Bears program at the U of A okay so yeah so representing the U sports side of things uh now U sports CIS back in the day but yeah that's didn't know yeah. that about you and that's I guess you know, another full tier game where we haven't get to see that. So maybe that'll uh, come into the court as well with this fight being the main event, you representing Canada, being the unified guy and Jamel coming from across the border. Do you kind of like that you get to represent the flag here for unified and, and the promotion uh, as the heavyweight champion here where against a, a top American? Yeah. Yeah. It's uh you know, it's always a source of pride, especially when you're headlining a show uh, unified's been, you know, I, I, I had a fight with BFL, but I mean, unified's my, my home and headlining and stuff like that. You know, that's a, uh, that's definitely uh, an accolade that I appreciate. Um, I'm, I, I'm sure I'll be much more uh, thinking about that afterwards, you know, until then it's just, I've got a job to do and, and that's all I'm really worried about. As well with Unify, it looks like, you know, this has been a great year for the promotion. You know, you're fighting uh, this upcoming week here in the main event. But it looks like the promotion wants to expand, get out of the province of Alberta and put some shows in on, in Ontario here, my, you know, my home province. What do you think about the, the expansion plans here? Because, uh, I mean, it, it seems like a solid strategy for them to kind of split things between Western and, and, and now, I guess, Eastern Canada. Yeah, I, uh, I think Unified's come a... Uh... Uh, a long way sonny's been doing great things with the, with the organization uh given a lot of people here the opportunity to you know compete at uh at a level and with the uh, exposure that they wouldn't otherwise get uh i think toronto makes sense i think it's time that you know they branch out east and i think that they'll do just as well over there as they have here yeah and hopefully you know you get to be on one of those cards uh going forward uh christian i mean i'm sure you'd kind of like to maybe have another fight outside of the province of Al alberta <laughs> yeah yeah and i mean ontario I, I i grew up in ottawa uh in my younger years so you know it'd be kind of cool to uh go back there and fight in front of some of my uh my old friends i guess yeah, it'd be definitely a, a good uh button to the end of your career at some point if you wanted to get there or wrap things up uh with it christian uh and uh, last thing from for me here obviously this is a, a big fight for you but you don't want to give too much away but how do you see what, what's your i guess path to victory here christian against jamel who you know seems very motivated to try to take another heavyweight title for himself and bring that back to the states i i, I think really man it's just to uh, be confident in my in my power uh, not get overcommitted and and make sure that I'm uh, uh, keep my hands up and not eat one of his his lefts because those will put you down pretty quick too. That they will. Well, Christian, this is going to be a very exciting fight. Main event for Unified 46, of course, on UFC Fight Pass. Before I let you go, plug yourself out there on social media and and anyone else you want to thank. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, social media. Uh, Red Bearded Viking MMA, uh, Facebook on Christian Larson, uh, and just some of my sponsors, uh, LVL Electrical, uh, Qualys Construction, uh, Spider Mechanical, 
uh, rolling mix concrete, signature demolition, Excel athletics, uh, everybody behind me in the, the camp. And then, of course, my gyms with Frank Lee's MMA and kickboxing and Shave Bears. Awesome. Well, Christian, pleasure to chat with you again. Best of luck on the 23rd of September as you defend your Unified uh, Heavyweight Championship against Jamel Jones at Unified 46. Uh, Christian, thanks for the time and hope to talk to you again. Yeah, always good talking to you.